Welcome to my channel. My name is Danny Walker. I'm a former title holder, I coach, and I am also a pageant judge. And I'm really excited because today I'm gonna to share with you my top 10 favorite interview outfits for the Miss Universe 2021 competition. If you love pageant content and travel vlogs and fashion tips and thrifting, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also hit the notifications bell. Since we're talking about interview today, I wanna to share with you something that I saw online, but I'm gonna show you guys that at the end just so we can get right to these outfits, so stay tuned. I love talking about interview outfits because they don't get as much attention as obviously a gown does or maybe a swimsuit performance does because it's not something on stage, but these outfits do deserve some credit because of the incredible designers that it took to create them, the stylist, the team, there's so much thought and care that goes into selecting these outfits Outfits, so I wanted to feature them on the channel. I also really appreciate that at the Miss Universe competition that most contestants share their outfit on social media so we're actually able to see them and that very often they have a lot of personal meaning or there is some international or cultural style inspiration in them. With no further ado, here are my top 10 favorites. Dominican Republic is back, friends. They are back and as strong as ever. Oh my gosh, this dress to me looks like a shade of light pistachio. Does anybody like pistachio ice cream? I'm a huge fan. I love pistachio gelato especially. But this dress, oh my gosh, I just love bows too. The fit of it is perfect. I love that they, it's, it's interesting. I really like that they put the necklace. I thought it was a great addition. Normally I don't love necklaces, but they did have a small earring paired with it. So it was a nice balance. The shoe is beautiful. I like the simple shoe for this too, the nice closed toe heel, because there is a lot going on and your attention is gonna go to that waist point, that focal point. So you don't need that much extra, especially for an interview. If you were going out on an appearance, you know, yeah, have at it, just be overstyled. But for here, this is just beautiful. This is just a beautiful interview look. And the hair, the side swept hair with the loose waves, it's almost vintage which also reminds me of the necklace. A lot of vintage styles incorporated necklaces. Women really used to rock the necklace back in the day. I cannot even see the entire outfit that the Bahamas is wearing, but I love it. I love the color. I love that it's monochromatic. I love that for the fall, she wore a turtleneck under what I would say is a power suit. And this color, once again, this color on her really suits her. It really pops, it stands out. It's not a color that many contestants will wear, especially in an interview setting, but that's why I like it. I like it because it's unique. Even the simple earrings that we're seeing here, I think are perfect. And it just really brings all the attention to her face because I think that the makeup is beautiful here. It's soft, it looks natural. She has a small earring that's not attracting too much attention. Mm, this look, it does it for me. USA is wearing a beautiful blue dress that I think complements her perfectly. I'm a really big fan of asymmetrical necklines and this dress has it. Also, there's a lot of structure going on in the hips, so it does something to, to create more of an interesting silhouette than just a plain interview dress, and I really like that. This dress I know was created by Giovanni, which is a new sponsor of Miss USA, so I was excited to see her in this. I really like the acrylic pump that they went with as well. From what it looks like on social media, I assume that it's warm in Israel. The contestants seem to be wearing lots of spring and summer type styles, and they've been in the water, so this shoe for me makes sense, but I do like that if you notice, it does have this small little nude cap at the point of the toe, and I feel like that just adds a little more formality to it. It makes it a little bit more of an interview style, but I love it. I also really like her simple earrings that she paired with this and the hair up and away from her face because she has such a beautiful face. This was really, really well styled for me. Colombia, I am not surprised. If you guys watched my recent top 15 favorites, you'll notice that I didn't have her in that episode only because I was basing a lot of my favorites on the up close 
episodes that Miss Universe has been releasing as well as social media and following them in their competitions. So I was like, I'm, I was waiting for that. Well, of course they released it after I came out with my video, but she's somebody that, as I mentioned actually in the description of the other video that I'm expecting is gonna be in my top favorites once she hits the stage. And this already right here, seeing her interview outfit is a great indicator of that. I love this look. I love it. It's it's fun, it's fresh. We're seeing that little cutout. There's a beautiful Giovanni gown that I really love. It's in the chartreuse type shade and it has a rhinestoned bust and then underneath there's a cutout very similar to this one of my favorites beautiful chiffon gown anyways i love this i like the short sleeve jacket that is paired over it to you know cover the shoulders make it a little bit more professional great earrings here and then because it almost it almost looks because it has that little cutout it almost comes across as a three-piece look so i like that they just went with the nude pointed toe heel here in the perfect color for her. So this entire look, I could totally see a Miss Universe wearing this in a media interview. It's fabulous. Cambodia, I am obsessed with this look. What I love about Cambodia that we also saw during the arrivals is we're seeing the use of traditional fabrics and style. And I just think that that's so beautiful to bring a piece of your country and your culture to the Miss Universe organization and into that interview. And this piece though, it is fitted to perfection on her. Also the center of it sort of reminds me of what we see in the movies at least for Egyptian costumes, the way that the waist is brought in and then there's this sash that sort of hangs in the center. But my gosh, the construction of this, the color, the fabric, the only thing I personally would change would be the shoes. I, I would like a different shoe, maybe a gold to complement the gold accents in this piece. But I like the hair back, the simple earrings. It makes sense because of this high neckline that she has. It's just it's beautiful. If you're a pageant contestant and you're preparing for your next interview and you want to learn how to sound more authentic, how to truly embrace who you are and be able to express that with judges, then check out Rehearsed to Relatable and that is linked in the description below. Spain, this is what I'm talking about at Miss Universe. We see cultural influences and inspiration in these interview pieces. But this one right here, it just looks couture to me. It looks so high end and I cannot remember the name of the designer. I have them saved on Pinterest, but they did a collection and it had all of these oversized, large fringe tassel pieces in the collection. And so somewhat sort of like this, but this is incredible, classic, beautiful. I also saw people posting some little screenshots or or photos which weren't great quality but you could see her in the interview room and it did look really beautiful in the interview room as well at least to me and i love this once again since there's a lot going on with this piece she pulled the hair back the makeup is beautiful I, wow wow so lovely laos this dress actually reminds me of amanda obdam's departure outfit that she wore last year when she was traveling to Miss Universe. And if you don't remember, she was Miss Thailand. And it was a really great color on Amanda. This is a great color on Laos. And I like the straight, simple hair, the small dangle earring, perfect, very professional. The color on her, the fit though, the fit, the fit, the fit is everything for this. And if you notice this fabric, it's it's sort of structured. It's not like something that's gonna cling that just lays on your body. When you have a fabric like this, it really needs to be altered well because if, if something like the arm is too big, it can make a contestant's arm look disproportionate to the rest of her body. It can make it look boxy or awkward, but this right here, perfect. And I love the little side cutout. So cute. I should totally do that to a blazer dress. That would be a fun upcycle. Belgium. All right, I love, I love this look. It's not that I haven't seen something like this before, but it's that she's wearing it so well. And I really like the little keyhole here in the bodice of this jumpsuit because it does have a high neck and she is a miss. It's Miss Universe. You know, there are contestants who are wearing two piece 
cropped styles. And that's something you'll see at this type of competition. It's not gonna fly for every pageant system, but for me here it works. Also the hair pulled back and out of her face, that really big voluminous ponytail. I just think she looks incredible. I, I love this. The earrings look great with this. They're a nice geometric shape, which reminds me of that keyhole or that cutout in the center of this jumpsuit. It's just all working for me. And the makeup as well, gorgeous. Mauritius, this was fun. We are seeing another beautiful, bold, bright color. Of course, this color looks beautiful on her, but I really like how intricate the waistband was on this piece. It seems like there's also some sort of a buckle there. Obviously, we have the oversized sleeve, which is really popular right now. It's a beautiful style, and I, I see it we saw it a lot at Miss USA. I'm a fan of it right now. And then she just added a a necklace, a simple gold necklace, small gold earrings, pulled everything away from the face. It was great. I think that she needed to pull the hair back because there's a lot going on here in terms of volume. I'm not sure though if this is a top and pants. It may be a jumpsuit. That would be good. A jumpsuit. I wouldn't have thought about styling it that way, but that would be nice. Now the heels do match, they do blend, but I would have preferred a different heel. I think that there could have been a great heel that would have complemented the accents on the belt a little bit more, but that's my personal preference. Peru's outfit is gorgeous. Clearly looks custom and arguably is my favorite outfit of the bunch. Now, a lot of contestants that slicked their hair back, they did the low bun style, which frankly I would probably do too, but she went with like a mid, almost high pony, so that made it a little bit different. Once again, we're seeing a small metallic earring. It's just a nice accessory that doesn't draw too much attention, but wow, wow. So these pants, great, but this unique blazer, it almost looks like she's wearing a corset underneath a sheer blazer. I don't think that's what's happening, but it almost looks like it. I think it's one piece. And then she has a center, really narrow, low V mesh panel, which I think really lengthens contestants a lot of the times. And we're also seeing that trend again with this puff sleeve, but she's doing it differently. There are multiple ways, by the way, to create puff sleeves and to create volume. You can create the volume on top. You can create it throughout and all over. You can also create it only at the wrist. So it's interesting to see how everybody is interpreting this trend, but I think it's beautiful. Also, it adds a lot of frame and structure to your body. So if you're somebody who is petite and you wanna take up more space, this is something that can create a great optical illusion. Of course, just seeing this in white is beautiful. It's classic, it's elegant, it's everything. And if she has a great interview, I would definitely remember it. Even if she has a bad interview, I think I would remember this outfit though. This is fabulous. As I mentioned at the beginning of this episode, I wanted to show you guys this little video clip that I found online. And I don't always follow the Miss Universe feed, but I happened to look at their stories and they were showing a couple behind the scenes clips of the title holders. And I screen recorded it for you. I didn't catch the audio, but it's okay because they have captions on it. And I want you to really see the big differences between mindset for contestants. And there's a contestant when I was watching this video that I was just thinking, that's the mindset of a title holder. That is really what that looks like. That's what that sounds like. And I think that a lot of contestants don't know what it looks like or sounds like because we don't usually see interviews in many pageant organizations. So I'm gonna cue this clip and then we'll talk a little more at the end.
how cool was that behind the scenes, right? So the queen that I'm referencing is Belgium in this. I don't know if you guys are feeling that too, but personally for me, Belgium and her approach to this, it just sounded so confident. It sounded so confidently beautiful. So she's been in my favorites, but this made me feel even better about her chances going into the preliminary competition. Even though I only mentioned 10 interview outfits in this episode, there were a lot others that I love that I thought were super cute, that were great examples of fabulous interview wardrobe. So I'm gonna do a quick list of those to acknowledge these contestants. And if you want to, you can go check them out yourself. The Miss Universe organization this year finally has been linking their Instagram accounts. So you can see these. I loved Aruba, Australia, Brazil, Chile, Costa Rica, Curacao, Czech Republic, Ghana, Great Britain, Haiti, Israel, Jamaica, Japan, Malta, Mexico, Nigeria, Puerto Rico, Singapore, South Africa, Thailand, Ukraine, Venezuela, and Vietnam. Those are some of my other faves that I didn't have all the time to talk about today, but I hope you go check them out. Let me know who your favorite is for your interview styles and also for the overall competition. Thank you for tuning into this episode. If you wanna see more, don't forget to check out the playlist for Miss Universe content. And also don't forget to subscribe and share this episode with your friends. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you next time.